All right, what's going on? It is Championship Sunday, Bassmaster Classic. We are we've got a chance going into the final day, tied for the lead, but uh, we still got to go catch them. You know, I think we need a good bag today, somewhere in the teens. 14 will give me a chance. 17 or 18 will give me a really good chance. So if we can just keep the pace, catch another 17 or 18 like we've caught the last two days, have a really, really good shot at winning this tournament. So that's the ultimate goal when you come here, just try to win a, a tournament like this. That's what you gear up for, you plan for, everything that you do all year is try to, when you get in this position, do everything you can to capitalize. So hopefully today, we'll get a couple of big bites and we'll make it happen. Smile, man, smile, you make the classic. Oh, he is smiling, I forget, you got poker face. <laughs> so. The Shaky Head is a 316 ounce. This is actually a new one from Untamed. It's a 316 ounce standard Shaky Head. This has a six inch, 13 fishing, blunt, for, blunt force finesse worms called a BFF. Okay. Nice. This right here is a Spro Mixed Stick. It's the regular size in Pro Blue. Okay. And this right here is a half ounce Untamed Tackle Ace Jig with a chunk style trailer and the color is Dirty Crawl. Okay, works for me. Okay, pal. Day three. I love it. Yep. What you think? We're just gonna Are go out ready? there. Are you calm? I'm ready. We're just gonna go out there and try to make good decisions and hopefully catch whatever bites today. You know, I have not been getting a ton of bites. I've been fortunate to get a couple of big bites both days. If we can generate some of those big bites, put them in a boat today. If they're gonna go a long way, you know, we got a big opportunity. We just got to do whatever we can to catch as much weight as possible and see what happens. You know, it's not, I'm not on a big deal where if it works, you know, I'm, I'm pulling up and guaranteed to catch them. And if I don't, I got nothing else. I'm really running around a ton and hopefully we'll uh, collide with a little flurry a couple times today and have a good day. Huh? So they just got a bite. They don't, they don't. That's where I'm at with it too. I ain't with it. I ain't on with it, so. A two year elite series pro, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher, ladies and gentlemen. And I called you that because of this. You really are Stone Cold, unflappable, and even this morning, the biggest morning in Bass Fishing Championship Sunday, and maybe the tightest championship Sunday we've ever had. Are you, are you feeling any pressure? I don't feel any pressure. I just feel super fortunate, and, and like I'm, I'm really happy to have an opportunity. You know, literally anybody from 25th place all the way to me has a really good chance today. So I do like that I have an opportunity. We're going to go out there and just hopefully put everything that bites in the boat, and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Do you really just cash it out like it's meant to be, it's meant to be? I know you're calculated, and I mean, a former poker player, not former, you still compete in poker, but. How, How much, much calculation has gone into this, this or is the key, key in this event, event just, just to be free and, and fish what's in front of you? So here, all these clear water lakes, it's all about fishing the conditions. Stuff changes by the hour. I mean, it really changes by the minute. So if you get too calculated, you don't want to be too dialed into anything. You kind of want to just be making a ton of adjustments because, because whenever you fish the conditions, you get a little bit better average bite. So that's what I'm trying to do this entire week, or, you know, and especially today because we got stuff that's a little bit different. So that's all I'm planning on doing. I just kind of throw out everything else and just go anywhere I think I can get a bite. You're very calm, cool, and calculated. If you win this title, will you go nuts on the stage? We'll see. We'll, I, if I get that opportunity, we'll see. I look forward to seeing if you get that opportunity. Let's hear it for him. Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. The event, unfinished family business is what you call it, and you want to win this title, hand it over to your dad. The one What's title. What are you thinking as a. Third year on the Elite Series, Kyle, and now you're on the biggest stage with a chance to win the Bassmaster Classic. Tied going into this final day, man. You thought it would take a certain number to win this Classic. You're only 16 pounds from there, but unfortunately, Jason Christie has a caught less than 17 pounds. What makes you think you can beat him and the other 23 guys? I just know how lakes like this fish. You know, this is a clear water impoundment. There's a lot of pressure on this lake, a lot of spectator boats on this lake, and eclipsing that 16 or 17 pound mark three days in a row is an extremely difficult task. It doesn't matter who you've got trying to do it. It's all about the fish, and here it doesn't seem to hold up like that. So far, this has been the biggest weight classic we've ever had on Hartwell, but it does seem like 
It's just hard to do that, you know, for three days in a row. You've got one kind of magic spot. You know there's some bigs there. Can you catch those bigs today? We'll just have to see. The conditions are a little bit different today. I'm really hoping that I can generate two or three of those really good bites today, and it'll make the day a whole lot easier. If it doesn't pan out there, we're going to just have to run around, run some fresh water, and hopefully generate some big bites there. How does nurse feel? I'm, I'm good. I feel like I'm you sure? <laughs> We'll see. Hope I'm red hot today. Thank you. There's like 10 more with him. Yep. I seen them a little late, obviously. I, <laughs> they, I was keyed in on them two back there. I'm, then I heard them. Uh, so we just went to our best area and caught one little small one didn't even yesterday even though I didn't get a lot of I didn't catch a lot in here I did have a lot of bites in here that just kind of didn't get the bait or I broke them off today I didn't really get any bites so I'm about to go run new water for I guess seven hours and see what happens jaws a big one dude stop jumping Stop jumping, because I need you too bad for you to be jumping. There we go. Yes, sir. We'll take this one. We'll take this one. And they were running through the schools of bait. You could see them. Thank you. I mean running through the schools of bait. I forgot what bait I had. I set the dang hook. Nice spot. That's a nice one too. I need to go all the way around the boat because the way I got him hooked. I ain't trying to spin him. Yes, sir. Get up in here. Uh-oh, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Look at how that little piglet's been eating. He <laughs> but a I don't know, pound a half maybe, pound a quarter. He just didn't get it. They're too small to get it. Them are. Another one with him. 
you got it good too. Thank you. Little chunky one. Thank you. They both hit at that dang swim bait, but they couldn't get it. They're too, they're too little, you know. I know what can happen if they're biting it, but I've got two I can weigh, and I've got then I've got two little ones. I got two. I got like a two and three quarter and a two and a quarter. Get in here, baby. Do you see that bite? <whistles> New water. Give me some. Never seen this place before. One, two, three. That one too, dude. Get over here. That'll work. Dude, barely hooked. I don't know how he stayed on. That's a little chunker. Thank you. Eels messed up. There we go. Sure, sure, it's that large mouth. I don't think he's going to help. I didn't help him none by letting him eat it that long either. I can tell you that. We got something to do now, I believe. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know how. I'm gonna double check. It's definitely bigger. That one looks bigger to me. Hold that one away. 185. <clears throat> Freaking giant one. Oh my God, stay on. Oh my gosh. Stay on, please. Don't you do that.
I can't wait to get my hands on you. Woo! Dude, I seen it sitting there and I was like, is that a stick? A stick that bites? No, it wasn't on the bed, it was just suspended. Woo! Give me some, dude. Yes, baby. Digging, I think. It's a helper. I can promise you that. God, please get in this boat. Please get your big tail up in here. Don't do that. Come here and do this real one time. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yes, sir. Uh huh. That no help. We getting a little more dangerous. All right. I guess I'm going to. Uh... I don't really know which one's the uh, smallest. I don't know for sure it ain't that one. And I know for sure it ain't that one. Pretty sure it ain't this one. I don't think it's gonna be this one. That's a fat sucker there, dude. Decent one. Let's see, make sure. Yep. Which is the one you just caught with? Three and three quarters. Nice Dude, they're schooling right there. Yeah, you know, we ran my two best areas early, and I think I had three after that, so we left, or maybe I had four. Left from there, and for the last like five hours of the tournament, we pretty much ran mostly fresh water. I ran back through one area late in the day that uh, I had went through throwing a swim bait, and I went back through there throwing a wacky rig, didn't get any bites, but I know it's a really good pocket. But I just don't feel like we have quite enough. We gave ourselves a chance, but I just feel like they're biting a little bit too good. I didn't catch them quite as good as I need to, but you know, we ran a lot of new water today. I feel like that was the only way I was gonna give myself an opportunity to win. And you know, I'm, I'm happy with the way it turned out. You know, whenever you go run new water all day and catch another really good bag, it's uh, you know, something to be proud of because it's not that easy to do. What do you mean to win? I, I have no idea. You know, th today's one of those things where I could have caught 13 pounds and won, or it's possible I catch 18 pounds and lose. Like it's just, on this lake, you just never really know. This lake has a lot of big ones, but it can get tough at times. So you just you just never know what you're really shooting for. You never know, I mean, there's still a chance. 
Still a chance we win. Everybody behind me would have had to catch 19, and Christie's got to catch 16, so. That's not a guarantee. Don Day, roll them through. All right, we got a hot shot out of Opelika, Alabama. Y'all make him welcome once again. Here's Kyle Welcher. Fishing his second at Bassmaster Classic. Has an unbelievable record of 21 checks in 26 Bassmaster events. The former professional poker player is Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Unflappable, unfazable, and a unique opportunity here today. Started the day with 36 pounds, 7 ounces in a two-way tie with Jason Christie. Needs 16 pounds, 15 ounces to take the lead. Five, all alive. 17 pounds, four ounces. 17, four, and Stone Cold Kyle Welcher is your brand new Academy Daily Leader. With that, we say goodbye to Stetson Blaylock. Let's hear it for him. An incredible performance. This young pro, his second Bassmaster Classic, I coined you Stone Cold Kyle Welcher because you still look pretty relaxed. I ain't that relaxed. Uh, you know, we got a really good angler still coming. You know, I was, I knew it was going to be really close. I, I weighed the fish myself, and I knew it was going to come down to just, I mean, a, you just never really know what they're going to weigh whenever you come up here, but I'm super glad that uh, we're one person away. You know, I mean, t today I knew I ran out of fish late yesterday evening. I don't know if any of y'all watched live, but I was kind of like banging my head against the wall for the last half of the day, but I got bailed out with a couple big ones. And today at 10 o'clock, I had one of those fish that I weighed in and I said look if we're gonna win this tournament we have to run all new water and from 10 o'clock till 3 o'clock I actually caught four of my fish on a bait that I hadn't caught a fish on all week and I ran to a bunch of places I've never even seen before so I mean it just worked out we made some good decisions and uh, at least we're gonna come in at least second you've had an incredible career young career but you said it yourself on the stage a big win has eluded you there is no bigger win than that bad boy right there. What would that mean to you? That would, you know, that, that would be everything. That's a career accomplishment, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty young in my career, at least that's my plan. So, I mean, to go ahead and get something like that would be absolutely huge. That's uh, everybody's goal, everybody's dream. That's what makes people want to be a bass fisherman. So, I mean, it would be an awesome thing for my first win to be that sucker right there. When did that dream start for you? You know, I've always liked to, I've always loved to fish. I remember vividly whenever I was like, I don't know, I was maybe 10 years old. I was with my dad, who's right over there. And we were fishing on a small little local lake close to the house. And we were just fishing on like a Tuesday afternoon. And I actually seen a, a like pot tournament, bass tournament blast off on Tuesday afternoon. And I remember seeing the boats run down the lake and seeing them. And as soon as that, I was like, oh, these guys are serious. And ever since then, that's all I want to do is fish bass tournaments. Well, you're fishing the biggest bass tournament in the world. You're one angler away from becoming the 52nd Bassmaster Classic champion. Not gonna go far, he's gonna load our academy hot seat.